Karnataka culture, or we call it as Indian culture, or the Hindu Sanskrit culture. Always the word is used, Aditi Devo Baba, means the guest can come any moment and you have to wait for the guest. In the sense, you have to prepare. The rains can come any time. It is your duty to make sure when a Jumandra comes, means when the boss comes, he should run beautifully into your pond, yes, into your legs, and recharge the groundwater. And you save the water, save for then spend. And when this Hot season comes, the sunlight, Aditi Devo, yes. So, that is practiced in India. And it was a beautiful way to make you prepare almost every day your body. Because Aditi can come with good health and disease. If you prepare and keep your body with your Sanskrit every day, with your stretching of the Surya Namaskar and your Anilomo Vilomo Pranayama and your Dhyana, your three Murtis. I think you are well prepared. Nobody can destroy you. Bhagavad Gita is the 16th quote. The holiest of the holy books of the Indian Sanskrit, the holiest of the holy book of the Hindus. Bhagavad Gita caused the non permanent appearance of happiness and distress, and their disappearance in due course are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perception and one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. The non-permanence of happiness and distress. Happiness will come, maybe when happiness comes, distress too come. And the disappearance in due course, they never, they are not permanent. They, they don't have a pan card, permanent account number. They, like the children who make houses in the beach sand and the water takes it out. Like that is the houses now you find in Japan and other countries, they make paper houses. Whenever you want it, you can remove, go to the shop, change the window style and fix it up. <laughs> Those, yeah, you can do it on your own. The non-permanent appear happiness and distress and the discipline and due cause are like the appearance it is a winter and some seasons. Much before the winter comes, yes, we know to which direction the window, the house windows are closed so that not much cold enters, yes. And woolen clothing are made by the house women, they stitch Throughout the day, you can see they are stitching the woolen clothes every year yes, to prepare for the winter. And for the summer, when it becomes summer, the winter clothes are all folded properly. There is separate cupboard to wash and then keep it ready. And summer clothing comes thin, opened up for the whole body. But then this is for basically for the materialistic world. But Zen says, when you are in the hot, be the hot. When you are in the cold, be the cold. Yes. Distress or happiness, embrace them. Happiness comes, you forget to embrace it. You try to be greedy by demonstration. When happiness comes, Happiness means a lot of money came immediately. You share it up. You forget to share it. You embrace the happiness 
and that time it digests beautifully and distress come you embrace the distress and you can see others are coming running to you yes to find out how they can also participate in bringing down your pain because in the happiness came you distributed yes it is not for you happiness is not for you once you understood that one not a single program in the house goes without you sharing to the neighborhood without you sharing to the nearest orphanage and to the holy places yes the non permanent appearance happiness and distress and the disappearance due cause are like the appearance disappearance of winter and summer seasons yes if that india is understood there was no need for mahatma gandhi to go to england to learn law first of all if every house is practiced the moment mahatma gandhi went to england even now india is going out indian children are going out to other countries to take, to take care of that countries agreed to get their money but they are not going to give you money you have to be in your house if mahatma gandhi has been in the house as a leader then all the indians would have changed it i do not want to go deep into that but as a leader i am telling all leaders please make sure the house is very important when it is winter is winter when summer is winter you embrace it up and house become strong you do not have to go otherwise you see Asia in Asia there is South East Asia and South Asia in South East Asia the first sun rises in Japan the first uh, rise they see was Japanese they became one of the richest economic might in the world beautifully pedicure and manicure not only the land pedicure and manicure the wealth also followed by Korea South Korea. Taiwan now China Singapore Malaysia Brunei it goes southeast asia has become rich neat clean powerful and we come to south asia south asia we still remain poor at least those people have understood what is what is western culture and how they became rich they started saying, what's happening because we started going out a lot we have to now be in the house when it is winter be the winter aditi devo bhava maintain your body strong your house strong every day aditi devo bhava is being taught to everybody you have to prepare yourself so which disease can enter only savings will be there from your land land is full of money if land was not full of money why did the foreigners come to invade our country do you think they want girls no 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 why the uh, muslim invaders came to india not, not for go not for girls but for the money the money was there in india then why didn't you dig and find it out that was the link why south asia became very poor india sri lanka nepal um pakistan bangladesh afghanistan burma very very poor the whole these countries have to be taught yes and the first thing you taught is us and india who taught the world the philosophy taught the world the spirituality have to build up the spirit be in your house money is there why did british stay 200 years in india for the money of india because when you do not know to use your own land your your own body somebody else will use you and they used to misuse you bhagavad gita code the, the, the non permanent appearance happiness and distress and the disappearance due cause are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer season other you you climb up the ladder to be an engineer or doctor relevant you don't make a difference whether the child has become a doctor or an engineer or a painter or a plumber anything is god gift in that finder whether the child understands that value and respect the land he touches the fish hashtag the namaskara always enters yes 
and he hugs and kisses his mother and father. Once a child understands that, then where there is Daridre poverty, and the disappearance of Yukos are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. So don't get frightened. When it comes, embrace it up. Don't get frightened. Rush up to the doctors. When you are in the hot, breathe the hot. This body becomes strong. Cold, breathe the cold. They arise from sense perception. And one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. It's not about toleration. We have the Aditi Devu Bhava, so it is not all region. We, in fact, welcome the distress and happiness and we embrace it up because when happiness came, we enjoyed it up, a cosmic experience of enjoyment, and then we made sure we distributed, we shared it up. So when distress came, everybody came together. Wow, this was wonderful.